Yarmouth's off-season work is paying off by winning at the line of scrimmage. The whole team has been in the weight room. I mean, we were in there all winter every day, uh, so we're, we came back twice as strong because we didn't want to lose like that again. That was not fun. After a one and seven season a year ago, the Clippers have already surpassed last year's win total. But one of Yarmouth's captains is intent on expectations being day to day. I have expectations for my team and, and for them to show their work ethic and, and dedication to our, our team as a family at practice. Fellas, I've been looking at the game from, from the other night, and after this touchdown, Mikey, you're pointing at me. Are you taunting me? Are you calling me out here? Is that how I get treated for putting you on TV? No, Travis, I was actually just trying to help you out. Did you go to the snack shack before the game? On Friday, yeah, I went to the snack shack. I was just pointing out you had a huge stain on your T-shirt. The, the same, same shirt, shirt you're wearing, wearing today. today. We can be a really great team. I mean, we're already on the way to doing it. Uh, last year was the start of it, and we're just building off of that momentum. Gray lost in a shootout to Morris a week ago, but is confident heading into this matchup with an offense that's built for a shootout. This is the best team I've been a part of high school-wise, and I think our high school program's ever seen, and ever probably. So we have a really good chance. Gray New Gloucester's always been known for losing games, not winning a lot, and to be able to, uh, to play this at, at this level, it's going to mean a lot to Gray New Gloucester. 